The Trinity is maybe not the first thing a person learns on their way to becoming a Christian, but it is a doctrine that underlines all other important parts of the religion. Without it, none of Christianity is possible. In the Old Testament, God is mainly described as the Father in heaven, Yahweh. There is no other God but Yahweh. But Christians believe in a trinity. How? First, Jesus is believed to be God. Prophecies from the Old Testament point to the Messiah, and Jesus fits the description for them. No other person, whether a priest, prophet, or otherwise, fits the descriptions like he did. The New Testament writers believed he was God, and John specifically wrote his gospel to make that clear. Thomas doubted that Jesus had been resurrected, but when shown proof, he said, My Lord and my God, to Jesus. Or just look how clear Peter makes it in 2 Peter 1.1. 1, 1. But did Jesus claim to be God? Jesus claimed the authority to forgive sins, which no one but God can do. He also accepted worship from the disciples, which not even the angels in heaven would do. Lastly, there was a vision from the Old Testament where Daniel is seeing God described as coming on the clouds of heaven. Before his crucifixion, when Jesus is being asked whether he is the Messiah by the high priest, he says, I am, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the Jews said he was blaspheming and condemned him to death. It's pretty clear. Is the Holy Spirit God? I'll keep this short. In Acts 5, Ananias and Sapphira are two people who try to deceive the church members by keeping part of their donation for themselves. Peter asks why they lied to the Holy Spirit, and then immediately confirms that they lied to God. Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back for yourself part of the proceeds of the land? Why is it that you have contrived this deed in your heart? You have not lied to man, but to God. Peter, a Jew, who knew the Father was God, who is convinced Jesus was God, equates the Holy Spirit with God. Simple. But how can all three of these be God? Doesn't that make them separate gods? No. God is one being and three persons. What does that mean? I am one being, a human being. I am also one person, Julian. Both of those refer to me and both are true at the same time. This is not a contradiction. God is also one in being, but he is three in person. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are the same being, but different persons of that being. Also, if Jesus was just a man and not God, his sacrifice for sin could not have worked, because no human is perfect, only God is. And God is not a being entirely separate from the universe. Love is something only possible between two or more persons. God is three persons. And since he's eternal and perfect, therefore God is love. Love is possible because God first loved. And as the most popular Bible verse goes, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life.